Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of two pairs of sunglasses from the brand Key Australia. The first pair of sunglasses that I'm going to be reviewing are the All In Mini, which is the collaboration that Key Australia did with JLo. And then the second pair is the Don't At Me sunglasses, which is the collaboration that they did with Desi Perkins. If you're new here, I would love it if you would consider subscribing. I am a busy mom of three and I do beauty, fashion, and lifestyle videos along with review videos like this one. So if you're interested to see my review of these two pairs of sunglasses, then please keep watching. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do before we get into the review is we're going to institute a wine review series. So this is a Behringer Main and Vine Sauvignon Blanc. And this has already been open. I'm just going to go ahead and pour myself a glass. Don't mind if I do, because why not? Cheers. So the first pair of sunglasses that I'm going to be reviewing is the collaboration that Key did with JLo. And I got both of these pairs of sunglasses in the mail about a week ago, and I've just been saving them so I could do this sort of unboxing with you, even though it's not really an unboxing, it's more of an unpackaging video. So this is how the sunglasses came. I love that the way that these are packaged, they came very securely packaged. And they did come with this really nice sunglasses case. It says Key Australia right here and it's white and it's sort of like a crocodile print, I guess. It's got a gold zipper right here and then just some cloth, just nice velvet sort of lining. It's not velvet, it's just you know, a scratch proof cloth. I did end up actually purchasing a sturdier sunglasses case just so that way I wouldn't get these beautiful sunglasses crushed or whatever in my purse. So this is how they came packaged. They still have the tag attached to them. And I will say that it was difficult for me to decide on which size of sunglasses to get because in this collaboration, JLo has the all-in, the regular size, and then they have these all-in mini sunglasses, which this is what they look like. They're just really nice aviator style sunglasses, and they have just the gold detailing, and they have the adjustable nose pads right here. This is sort of a black faded sunglass frame. And you can see, I think you could see, on the inside right here, it says All In Mini. And then on this side right here, it says Key Australia. And I'm just gonna go ahead and try these on. And they're beautiful, as I knew they would be. I really like the way that these sit on the face. They definitely, they actually don't hit on my cheekbones, which is always sort of an issue because I have such pronounced cheekbones. And it's typically an issue for me because it tends to just crease my makeup. And so I feel like I'm really going to like these because they don't do that and they just sit really nicely on the nose right there. They're not super huge either, so that's something that's a nice thing to consider. I don't feel like they're eating my face. So these are really nice, and I typically tend to go for a darker lens than a lighter lens, although at some point I might consider going for a lighter lens. But this is just a really nice lens. It frames the face really well. I like this gold bar up here, just the gold hardware detailing. The black and gold is one of my favorite combinations. So it's just a really chic look. And these don't necessarily feel like they are cheap lenses. I definitely feel like they are a good value for the money and I don't feel like they're going to break. They feel very well made. So again, this is what they look like. You can see the dark lenses. I'm just gonna put them on again, because why not? So overall, my overall thoughts, I really like these shades. I really like these sunglasses. I'm excited too that they are collaboration with JLo. I'm not a huge fan of JLo, but I do love her style, her sense of fashion, and the fact that she doesn't seem to ever age. 
So definitely props to her for this beautiful pair of sunglasses. They do have some other sunglasses available on the Key Australia website that you can check out if you're interested. They have these all in mini sunglasses along with those larger frames that I had mentioned before. So if you do want a little bit of a larger frame, then definitely feel free to go onto their website and check out everything else that they have to offer. So those are the all in minis. They also have variations of this sunglass as well. So they have different colors. I believe that they have a sunglass with a white frame and a little bit of a maybe like a brown lens. And then I think they also have like a tortoise colored with like an army green, a camo, camo green, I think it is. So that is a really nice style for you to consider. The next pair of sunglasses that I have to share with you is a collaboration between Desi Perkins and Key Australia. And this particular pair of sunglasses, the style is Don't At Me. And so this is how they came packaged. Just go ahead and open this up. This is the cute packaging that it came in. It doesn't look like a very sturdy sunglasses case. So as I mentioned, I did purchase two other sturdier sunglass cases from Key Australia, but this is what it looks like. It has the Key Australia and Desi Perkins logo on the front. It does have the tag attached as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up and this is what it looks like when it comes right out of the package. And then it has just a cleaning cloth that says Key Australia and Desi Perkins. So they pretty much came packaged similarly to the JLo Sunnies. And this is what they look like. And they just have the black fade. Very similar, I guess, just in terms of color scheme as the all-in minis that I just reviewed from JLo in that they have the black frames and then they have the gold detailing. They don't have the adjustable nose pads here, but instead they just have the black plastic frame piece. And you can see right here, it says don't at me on the inside in white print. And then on the other part of the inside, it just says Key Australia right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try these on with some wine, of course. Okay, let's see what these look like. Very cute, very cute. Okay, so I'm getting sort of like a 90s retro kind of vibe. It's sort of like a cross between a cat eye and just a cool vibe on a summer day. I'm not really sure what I'm saying here, but I do like this style. I do think that it suits me quite well. It also doesn't, as I mentioned, it doesn't hit on my cheekbones, so it's not going to mess up my makeup. And it, it sits really nicely here on my nose. So that's definitely a plus as well. It's very comfortable. It doesn't feel like it's tight on me. I do have a larger face, so it is important to me that sunglasses aren't too tight on the sides because after a while of wearing them, I'm just going to get a headache and not want to wear them anymore, so I'm just going to take them off. So that aspect of sunglasses is really important to me. So I like these. They're very cute. They're very chic. They're very different. I'm feeling very cool and very just, you know, riding in my drop top or whatever, no, <laughs> okay. So just riding down the street on a cool summer day or summer evening or whatever, I don't know, it sounds good to me. So I think I really like these. I think they're very cute and I really like the fade. I'm not actually sure. I feel like I haven't actually had a sunglass before that has like a fade like this. So I'm really digging this vibe. I really like the gold detailing and everything. Oh my goodness, you can see. Can't you see right there, like all of my gray hairs and everything? Okay, that seems like it might be something that might need to be fixed at some point, but just not today. Overall impressions, I do really like this pair of sunglasses and now that I have finally unpackaged them, I can wear these out in the sun when I go outside with my daughters and play in the sun. Because 
as I mentioned, I've just been saving these to unpackage with you. And so because I've been waiting, I haven't had an opportunity to actually wear them. So that'll be the real test once I go out into the sun and get some vitamin D and just kind of try these out and see what the vibe is like outside in my backyard while I'm sheltered in place here. It'll just be really fun. I'm really excited to be able to do that. So that is it for this review, guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. If you like this video, I would really appreciate it if you would go ahead and give this a thumbs up. If you're interested to see any of the other videos that I have on YouTube, I'm going to link them right here. So go ahead and feel free to check those out. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!